What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games, and today we need to have a look at Luffy from OP05. I know a lot of you, because I've seen it, comments on my videos, comments on the Facebook group, comments all over the place from you lovely ladies and gentlemen saying... I think OP05 Luffy could be really good. The other day I showed you Anel and the fact that that is quite possibly becoming the new best yellow deck in the format. Well, there is a lot of reason to believe that this Luffy is becoming the best purple deck in the game. We've got a couple of lists that have been published over on the official Twitter. Now, these have actually gone and done very well in Junior Cups, but they are big tournaments. They are very competitive. And believe me, ladies and gentlemen, if you... And I'm not guaranteeing that you can take this list and go and start winning tournaments, all right? What I am saying is, if you want to know how Luffy works as a deck, this video is going to tell you. And if you want a list to start testing Luffy for when OP05 comes out over here, great news, ladies and gentlemen. This will work very nicely indeed. So we start off with Luffy then. And look, we, we like Luffy. Luffy's a very popular character. And we've had a bunch of Luffy leaders. This is far from the first one, but it might just be one of the absolute best. Because we've got a mono purple leader, activate May once per turn. You may add a card from the top of your life to your hand. Now, admittedly, that will lower your life, which gets your opponent closer to winning. But if you have zero or three or more Don cards on the field, add up to one Don card from your Don deck and set it as active. The reason it's not one or two is to stop you using it turn one. So if you go first turn one, you'll have one Don. If you go second, you'll have two. That's a little bit awkward. So the way they do it is basically it's either zero or three or more just to stop you getting too much Don advantage turn one. And that's the thing. You are getting Don advantage and... And card advantage. Sure, you are giving up a life. That's a bit sad. But you're getting an extra card in hand and an extra Don on the field. That is going to accelerate your deck very nicely indeed. So then, what do we play with it? Well, we've got Kurizumi Hirashi. Two cost, 3,000 power. Counter plus 1,000 blocker. Nothing more than that. Nothing more exciting. It is a blocker. That's what we've got. And this is an unusual deck in that this is the only character we've got that is less than a four cost. But we should be accelerating our Dawn a little bit faster than your average deck so we can go a little more aggressive in terms of our cost here. We've got the ulti, 4 cost, 5,000 power, counter plus 2,000. Obviously, you need some counter plus 2,000 in your deck. And on play, Dawn minus 1, play up to 1, paid 1 card of a cost of 4 or less from your hand. So basically, you can either use it as a counter plus 2,000, yay, or you can use it as a 4 cost double character because page one is just a four cost six thousand power counter plus a thousand it's your ordinary everyday run-of-the-mill vanilla character nothing special about it at all but it is a vanilla character which can be played for free with ulti so essentially what you do is you play this as a four cost don minus one you've already used it this turn anyway and then you've got a five thousand and a six thousand power character sitting out there on the field yeah that's why we're not going so aggressive on the low-cost characters here. Now we do see Scratch Manapu coming in here. This is another just ordinary, everyday, run-of-the-mill vanilla character. Four cost, 6,000 power, counter plus 1,000. That's what it does, ladies and gentlemen. It's just a vanilla card, but hits quite hard. And what you're trying to do here is get going nice and quickly using Luffy. And if you just want basic power, these vanilla cards are pretty good. Now, we also see the lore that came around in Starter Deck 10. Yeah, there's some Starter Deck 10 cards in here. And the lore is a 4 cost, 5,000 power, counter plus 1,000 blocker. We need more blockers. Simple as that. Lots of decks need blockers. Pretty much every deck needs blockers, honestly. I showed you that we've already got the Higarashi card. Now we've got lore coming in here as well. It's another blocker. It's not just a blocker, I should add. But it is a blocker. Also on play, Don minus one. If your opponent has seven or more cards in their hand, trash two cards from your opponent's hand. So it works as a pretty decent blocker. But if your opponent's ever got a large hand that you are starting to get worried about, this will act as a little bit of hand disruption here as well, which is nice. Now, like most purple decks, we've got the Uta from starter deck five. It's another blocker. 
Yes, there's lots of blockers here. But again, you're accelerating your Don for the first couple of turns. So you're going to be able to have these blockers out. You're going to have a bit more Don to use. But also, you're giving up your life to use Luffy's skill. So you're going to need a few extra blockers in here to make sure you don't give up your life and then just get rushed. So yeah, that is 12 blockers in total so far. Four copies of Higarashi, four copies of Law, and four copies of Uta. But also on block Don minus one, rest up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of five or less. Cool. Sounds good to me, ladies and gentlemen. Resting characters is good. Now we got ourselves Khalifa here. We might not have many characters that are the kind of one, two, and three cost. But you, you might notice here, we've been talking about four-cost characters for a while. Yeah, there's a lot of four-cost characters here. Four-cost, 4,000 power, counter plus 2,000. And when attacking, Don minus one, draw two, trash a card from your hand. It's just a way of making sure we're getting a little bit of extra draw power in addition to what we're getting from the Luffy. So yeah, lots of good four-cost characters and Luffy getting them out that little bit faster. Now we have another vanilla character here. We got ourselves Babanuki. Five cost, 7,000 power, counter plus 1,000. And it really is very simply a case of it's a decent vanilla character. Simple as that. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I'd, <laughs> I'd love to tell you more. But it really, unfortunately, is just that simple. Now, there's only a couple of copies of that, and there's only a couple of copies of Magellan. We've only actually had one Magellan character card here. It is the one from OPO2. Five cost, 6,000 power. On play, Don minus one. Your opponent returns one Don from their field to their Don deck. So basically, you both lose a Don, but hopefully you're in a better position to be able to lose one. Oh, and when this character is KO'd on your opponent's turn, your opponent returns two Don from their field to their Don deck. It's just a way of basically going after your opponent's Don that I find very funny. Now we have the first of a couple Captain Eustace kid cards here. This is the one that came around in OPO5. And we've got another blocker here. And yeah, this, this deck is heavy on the blockers. But like I keep telling you, this is a deck where you are voluntarily giving up your life with Luffy. You are taking your life. So you know what? You're going to need a bunch of blockers to make sure it doesn't really come back to bite you. What we got here in terms of Captain Kid, other than blocker, is on your turn, once per turn, when a Don card on your field is returned to your Don deck, add up to one Don from your Don deck and set it as active. You will notice I have said a lot of Don Minus in this video so far. There have been a bunch of skills that activate when you shuffle a Don card from your field back to your Don deck. Well, this will work very nice. And we've had the ruling here. If you've got multiple Captain Kid out, yes, you get multiple Don. So you can go Don minus one, get rid of one Don, and then two Don come back instead. And that's the ideal scenario with this deck. If, if you can get Luffy getting your Don in the early game, so that you can then get a couple of Kid out, so that you can then just keep getting extra Don, oh my yes, ladies and gentlemen, this will work very nicely indeed. Now we got Queen coming in here. Queen's got blocker, shockingly. And on play, Don minus one, draw two, trash one. So we've got a bit of extra draw power here. We saw it with Khalifa. We saw it with Luffy. Now we've got some extra draw power here as well. This is good. Also, Queen sees a huge amount of play because it's a blocker that draws. I mean, come on. That's a good card, ladies and gentlemen. That's a good card. But yeah, you'll notice there's just an absurd amount of blockers in this deck. There's five blockers I've told you about so far, each of which is played as a four of. You're going to be blocking all day long, and it's going to be hilarious. Now, x Drake doesn't block, but you do have counter plus 2,000, which is a very good thing. And on play, Don minus one, your opponent trashes a card from their hand. Bit of hand disruption to go with the lore I showed you earlier. But again, remember we've got the Captain Eustace kid that will get that Don back, and if there's multiple kid... <laughs> We've got a Frankie coming in here. Now, this is the new one that came around in OP05. One of the... There aren't many OP05 cards in this deck at all. You've got Luffy, and then you've got this. They are the only cards from OP05 in this entire deck. Although, like I said, there are a couple from the starter deck as well. Now, what this Frankie does is, firstly, counter plus 2,000. We've seen a few of them now. That's good. And Don X1, if you've got eight or more Don on the field, you gain Rush. Well, we're accelerating Don, 
And now you've got a 4,000 power, well, Franosuke, actually, if you want to be pedantic. Because, of course, it is the Wano Frankie. And, yeah, Rush. Rush is good. I like Rush. Big fan of Rush. We've got a character in here that can rush. Now, I promised you two Captain Eustace Kid, and I intend to deliver. We've also got the one that came around in Starter Deck 10. Seven cost, 8,000 power, so one of your two real big boys in the deck. On play and when attacking, Don minus one. Up to one of your leaders gains 1,000 power until the start of your next turn. So you're Don minusing, but again, that can actually be a good thing. And you're buffing up your leader, and you've got a lot of power coming in here as well. This is good. And then we finish off with the Starter Deck Kaido. You'll notice there are multiple cards in here from Starter Deck 4, as well as Starter Deck 10. There's more. There's actually more cards from Starter Deck 4 than there are from OP05, if you want to get your head around that. But we've got 9 cost, 10,000 power, and on play, Don minus 5. But you KO up to your, one of your opponent's characters of a cost of 6 or less, and you gain Rush. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, yes. 10,000 power character with Rush to go with your Franosuke that's also got Rush. I mean, come on, ladies and gentlemen. That sounds fun to me. And again, we've got ways of essentially getting our Don back here. So this Don minus five is not as punishing in this deck as it might be in some others. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here's a list as a whole. I love this deck. It's a very aggressive deck with a huge amount of blockers. You're accelerating some Don. You're drawing a bunch of cards. You've got a few vanilla characters that just hit pretty decently. You're playing page one for free. And look how many blockers this deck plays. Not to mention six cards with Rush, two Franosuke, and six Kaido. And you know what? This is a deck I'm certainly going to be playing around with when OPO5 drops. This one looks fun. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know what you think about this. I want to know if you're testing it. I want to know if you think it's good. I want to know anything you want to tell me. So let me know in the comment section. Good us. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about One Piece and a bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash btcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord, and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wassy Plays.